Everyone tells you to start with SQL, but no one tells you what to do after that. You think, okay, let me just knock this out real quick. And then boom, two, three months later, you still spinning your wheels trying to figure out what's the difference between an inner joint and a left joint. Here's the thing, learning SQL isn't the problem. It's the way that most people are learning it. They're basically learning SQL out of order. It's not because you're broken. It's not because you just don't understand or maybe it's just too hard. That ain't it. It's because you don't have a map. In this video, I'm breaking down how long it takes to get good at SQL and how you can stop spinning your wheels. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So what is the real problem? The real problem is, is that people are learning SQL out of order. You one minute are starting with select, then you go to a CTE. Now you're trying to learn joints and you go back trying to figure out the from. Now you're trying to learn case statements and you're just all over the place. And then it becomes frustrating because the problem is you haven't built any sort of foundation. You're just learning bits and pieces here and there, different topics, but you don't have any real foundation when it comes to actually learning and grasping and understanding what SQL is and how to use it. So for you, I create you a roadmap. So here's a roadmap for you. So you need week one and week two. You need to learn the basics. Your basics will be your select statement. It will be your from. It will be your where clause. And then it's going to actually be your order by. So I'm going to give you a little example. I'm going to use a little analogy so that way it can help you better understand a little bit better. Okay. So I know you're probably saying, well, Mika, I know select. I get it. I get it. But for the next two weeks, I don't want you to venture off. I want you to stay right there and learn as much as you can about the select statement, the from clause, the where, um, your from, your where, and your order by. That is going to be very important. Okay. So for my beginners here, you have your select statement. So your select statement is basically saying that I want you to grab or I want you to get what it is that I'm asking for. So here's an analogy. I said, I want a burger fries in a drink that's all i told you i just want a burger fries and a drink so that's what your select statement is doing you're telling it to grab the burger the fries and the drink now if i don't give you anything else your next question is going to be from where exactly from so your from is going to be the location i want you to get the burger and the fries and the drink from Okay, so I'm going to say, oh, sorry, <laughs> McDonald's. Okay, so I want you to get the burger, the fries, and the drink from McDonald's. Your where is going to be your conditions. Okay, so I'm saying that I know I told you, to want get you I want you to get this burger, but I only want the burger a certain way. If I can't get it a certain way, I don't want it. So I have conditions. So I'm saying that I want the burger where it doesn't come with any ketchup, doesn't come with mustard, doesn't come with pickles, and doesn't come with onions. That's your where. Your where is going to be the conditions that you set. And then the order by. Your order by is going to be in what order do you want to see it? Week three through five. So you got week three, four, and five. These are your foundations. Joins, group by, and your aggregates. So for your joins, joins is something where it would be beautiful <laughs> in the real world if we can get everything we want from one table. But that's not highly, that's not something that's very realistic in the data analytics world. That's what join means, that you have to go to more than one table to be able to get everything that you need to be able to see in your query. Group by. Group by is going to work with your aggregate. So your aggregate means that you're counting something. It's the maximum of something, the minimum of something. This is going to be that. And anytime you have an aggregate, then you're going to take anything that you're not aggregating and you're going to group it. So the reason why you're spending three weeks on that is because now you're learning the foundation. So then you got week six, seven, eight, nine. It gets a little bit more hectic because now you're learning applications. You need to know your case statements. Then you're going to also learn subqueries. Subqueries, to basically make it very plain, is going to be a query inside of another query. And then you have like your system functions. This is going to be like your length and, and all of that. Like you need to know your system functions. 
because there's never a time when you're writing a query that you're not going to really have to use system functions. System functions are important. Then once you get to week 10 or more, then that's when you know that you are pretty much are job ready. When you have done everything from week one all the way through week nine, when you get to week 10 or more, that's when you know that you are job ready ready so as you know i've been sitting here prepping for this interview that i have on friday and i have looked at the job description there are some things in the job description that i actually do not use in my day to day and um such as like python and regression model even though in the job description it says that it's nice to have let's be real it can be very intimidating that's why i've been turning to brilliant today's sponsor Brilliant helps you get smarter every day with thousands of interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis, and AI, which is perfect if you're brushing up on skills or learning something totally new. What I love is that the lessons are hands-on. You're not just watching someone else code, you're doing it. So when I wanted to refresh my understanding of regression and practice some Python logic, Brilliant had me covered. The lessons are bite-sized, super clear, and built to help you actually retain what you're learning, which is perfect when you're on a time crunch or trying to stay consistent while job hunting. And you can learn from anywhere. Whether I'm at my desk or squeezing in practice on my phone during a break, the Brilliant app makes it easy to stay on track. So if you're prepping for a job interview like me or pivoting into tech or just want to sharpen your skills, try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days. Visit brilliant.org slash house called Dewberry2 or scan the QR code on the screen. You can also click the link in the description box below. And if you sign up today, you can get 20% off your annual premium subscription. I want to give a big thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to our regular programming. It will take you, if you follow this roadmap, it will take you about 10 plus weeks to get good at SQL. I'm not saying that you're gonna be an expert. I'm not saying that you're gonna be advanced because that takes time to get there. But you are then, you can definitely say that I know SQL. If you can get through 10 weeks of consistent learning and staying on track with this roadmap with learning SQL, you can say that I'm good enough to start applying for jobs and feeling confident in answering questions when asked certain things regarding SQL query. So in addition to you not having a map and people learning SQL out of order, another reason why people, be, they be stuck with SQL with two or three months, it's not that SQL is hard. You just have to start thinking like a data analyst. This is what a data analyst thinks like. They start thinking about the why behind the query. So. This is when most people get stuck. You get stuck and you find SQL is hard because you're learning just the function and not the decision making. You haven't solved the business problems with SQL. And again, you can't explain why you're using certain queries. So here's an example. My mentees, they can tell me all day long what a left join is and what an inner join is. They can tell me all day. They can give me the definition. They can give me the syntax and all of that but they can't tell me when they would need to use a left join versus an inner join and vice versa. If you understand what the company is asking and understand the logic of what a left join is versus an inner join, you'll be able to connect them together. But because they can't figure out what it is that they're asking or they don't understand why they're using it, that's where the problem comes in. The way to get good at SQL and to make sure that you can really understand it, learn by use case not by syntax. So what does that mean? When you learn just the syntax, you can tell me all day what a temp table is. That was a problem that I had when I came through the boot camp myself. That's the reason why I went ahead and did the second phase. Because once I finished the 12-week boot camp, I didn't feel comfortable enough to go out and get a job. Because you can ask me, what is a, uh, what is a temp table? I can tell you all day, give you the syntax, give you the definition of what a temp table was. But I couldn't tell you when to use it. I couldn't tell you where to eat, where it even goes inside of the query. I couldn't tell you any of that. That's the problem that a lot of people do. You, we memorize the syntax, but don't utilize the case use of it. We don't understand why we're using it, but we can tell you what it is. That's not because you don't know SQL. It's because you're learning functions and not decision making. You haven't practiced solving real business problems. You can't confidently explain why you're using each query. So if you're tired of bouncing, this is the time to reset. You've been taking the courses, you've been reading the books, you've been going on YouTube. So down in the description box below, 
I have a 21 day SQL job sprint workbook. That workbook will be in the description box below. See right here, I just pretty much told you what you need to do, but in order for you to really understand how to actually do this and really work it, get the workbook so that way you can get better with SQL. All right, that is all that I have for you guys. I appreciate you so much for watching. In the next video, um, um, so next week, I'm gonna be basically telling you what I would do if I had to start over in 2025 and becoming a data analyst. Um, there are some changes that I actually would do now versus me learning back in 2016 that is going to be very important so i hope you stay tuned for that i will hope that i see you guys in the next video i appreciate you guys so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next time bye